You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what, what you need to know if you have a breathing problem, breathing disorder. With us, we have an expert on this topic. Uh, he's well known all over the world uh, for his cranial facial release uh, method. With us, we have Dr. Del Torto. Dr. Del Torto, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. I guess your, your patients call you Dr. Adam. Dr. That, Adam, that's that's what everybody calls me, even, even my mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so b before we get into today's topic, uh, now for people that don't know you, like who's the typical patient? I know you have a huge celebrity following. Uh, some of the biggest names in Hollywood and music go to see you, sports. Uh, but I mean, who, who's your regular patient? Like what are the different things you do? Well, first and foremost, I'm a chiropractor. And you know, most people relate chiropractic to treating neck and back pain. But the primary objective of chiropractic is to optimize nerve flow through the body by making sure that the communication system between the brain and the rest of the body is unimpeded as the, the, the message flows down okay. the spine to every organ, muscle, and s tissue cell in the body, you know, to, to uh, optimize body function. Do you work mostly with athletes or just I work with a lot of pain? athletes, especially with this technique that I do. I do treat a lot of athletes, but you know, everybody needs a chiropractor and specific, specifically athletes because their bodies are just under such constant trauma due to impact or, or you know, depending on the sport, just whatever, you know, uh, activities that they're involved in, they're constantly under barrage of micro traumas throughout their their sports careers so you know they most of them most of these pro sports teams have chiropractors on the sidelines nowadays so you do a lot of athletes as well i do but I, that's not my primary focus except for with this specialized technique i mean i i treat everyday mom and pop families uh, just everyone that, that has spinal problems or, or wants to prevent spinal problems that come into our office for chiropractic treatment. And, and you're on call for celebrities as well. Like one of the biggest bands in the world, I guess called you a couple uh, weekends ago. Yes. To go in and, and help them before their concert. So, yeah, well, when I first moved down to LA, I was fortunate enough to, uh, to join a practice that focused on treating celebrities and, and Oh, so that's how they got to know you. So they, I'm on the list. Okay, so yeah, good. so it's it's you know it's an honor to treat those people, especially you know most of them are so gracious and humble and down to earth and good. It's you know it's it's good. It's it's so fun. So this CFR as you call it, cranial facial release to help with breathing problems. Um, so tell me a little bit about it. Well, and, and and we should mention you teach this technique. Yes. To doctors all over the world. Yes, I do. So you're like the the, the trainer for this. Well, it's. I didn't invent this technique. It's been around since the early 1900s, and it was actually pioneered by a doctor named uh, Richard Stober, who uh, it evolved from a technique called bilateral nasal specific, where uh, he, he used it primarily to treat children with learning disorders, and specifically Down syndrome children, where they, um, you know, he would just mobilize their cranial system and, and optimize their brain function so that they elevated to such a high level of cognitive thinking that they, they many of them went on to live normal, productive lives. So it's... We, we should mention, it's, you call it ballooning, right? Cranial ballooning, yeah. You put a balloon or a, a small, I guess you have the device right there. You blow it up. It expands their nose or the inside. That's it. That's it. It's a very small... Uh, finger cut, we call it a balloon, but I mean, to really understand how this technique works, first you gotta realize that the skull is not one solid bone. It's 22 individual bones that actually move every time you breathe. So like breathe, like the, yeah, the skull it, it, moves? It's, it's supposed to. Okay. So every time you inhale, the skull expands, and every time you exhale, it relaxes. And uh, it's not gross osseous movement, it's more of a very subtle movement but it's, it's imperative to have this cranial motion uh, to optimize brain function because it, it facilitates the flow of cerebral spinal fluid throughout the brain, which is imperative to brain function. Now, now I've seen some of the videos, by the way. When, they, when the people get this done, it looks like an exaggeration. They're like, wow. Yeah. I mean, one guy's like, wow, wow. 
So that's, it's, and you can hear a cracking, but it doesn't hurt. Sometimes, right? not always. But it but doesn't yeah. hurt, right? Uh, I wouldn't describe it as pain. It's just a lot of pressure, and it's not inside your nose. It's actually inside your face as it bubbles back, and it, the, the, the intention is- But the is pressure lasts a couple seconds. Two seconds, right? yeah, max, two seconds, that's it. It's a very quick procedure. Um, it's, it's not, I would not describe it as painful, but just more pressure than what you probably think. So you the could bloom kind of opens up the airway and then also expands the skull? Yes, or well, I mean, of... I mean, this is, this is the nucleus of the skull. This is the central most core of the skull. So there's six openings, three on each side. And our intention is to get in there and mobilize the cranial bones, uh, you know, optimize brain function. But it, it, this is the main area that the balloon inflates into, uh, you know, much different than sinuplasty, which is a procedure that medical doctors use to actually, where they actually insert the balloon into the sinus cavity and inflate it with the purpose of draining congested sinuses. Okay. So this is a completely different completely procedure. Different. Yeah, completely different with, with treating a completely different um, category of symptoms. So let's start with who benefits the most. I guess at the top of the show we talked about breathing disorders. Mm -hmm. So like what type of people are coming in for this? And well, who benefits most, I should say? You know, the most common patient that I treat with cranial facial release are people with breathing disorders. Uh, the marathon runner who's trying to get more air while he's running 26 miles. You know, the, the pro athlete who's, uh, you know, doing sudden bursts of activity. So they need oxygen uh, capacity okay. to be optimal. Um, you know, and also uh, a lot of, you know, ex former fighters or MMA fighters. We work with a lot of the MMA fighters for, you know, trauma, face trauma, nose trauma, for deviated septums, occluded breathing passageways, um, sleep apnea, snoring, anything where they have trouble getting uh, fluent airflow through their nasal passages. Those are the patients that primarily come in for this technique. Now, what are the age ranges? I mean, how old can you be to get this done? Well, you got to remember, young. I mean, the, the original founder of this technique was primarily treating children with learning disorders. That's That was his primary goal. So you treat them from, you know, days old uh, to my, the oldest patient that I treated was my grandmother. She was 92 years old. So from the womb to the tomb, we just treat them all. And they feel better immediately? Like what? Because when uh, I look at some of the videos you have, it's like it seems like they're 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 clear. Or they <laughs> feel like euphoric. In fact, you said after you get it done, you're like on top of the world. You know, the, the word that you use here, there, the key word is that I just feel clear as a bell. As when I get this done, now the first couple times you get it done, you don't feel that way. You actually feel a little more congested, maybe a little more headachey. But uh, after you get it done three or four or five times, that's the exact way I would describe how you feel. You just feel clear as a bell. You just want to feel like this all the time. So it's like a six treatment protocol? Uh, we usually do it in a series of four to five days of treatment over like a 10 to 14 and day two period. Minutes. I mean, it's only, it's two a, seconds. Two, two seconds. Yeah, it's very quick, very quick. And, and it's, it's not as, as aggressive or invasive as it looks. I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's just a lot of pressure. And as the bubble balloons th back through your nasopharynx, it bubbles into the throat. That's, that's what we're intending to do. And then we quickly deflate it and the whole procedure's over in like two seconds. So what about the results? Like, what are you seeing on a weekly basis? Well, just the overall increased breathing capacity of these patients. I've got one guy, he's a mountain biker. He's, he's like a, a competitive mountain biker. And he came in and he was having problems, especially when he got up to high altitudes with breathing. And he was actually referred to me by the dentist that I work with, who, whose his main focus is airway uh, occlusions and, and opening of, of, you know, the nasal airways. Okay. So he, he referred, to, referred the patient to me. We took CT scans before and after. You could see he had a deviated septum. We started ballooning him. I think we ballooned him like only like 10 or 12 times. And he just came in last week. Actually, he gave me a testimonial. He's like, this is the best thing that I've ever done. I can't believe it. Everyone told me I needed surgery and, uh, you know, which is, a little more invasive than this procedure and which I was apprehensive to do and I came in and I, I got this balloon treatment done cranial facial release and I, it's amazing I can breathe like I'm breathing through the back of my head so I hear stories like that all the time so this is a big word of mouth thing then 
Uh, yeah. For you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, I get a lot of referrals from the patients that have gone through the procedure. And you know, it's it's kind of a bizarre concept to put a balloon up your nose and inflate it because it's not something that you hear every day. But uh, you know, the results just speak for themselves, and people get excited about it. That's the thing that I love is that when you know people don't get excited about you know just getting adjusted, but when you put a balloon you know, in the nasal passageway and inflate it and it just gives you a whole new level of breathing and a whole new level of cognitive thinking. People get excited and they want to share their What about their medical doctors? Are they doing this or skeptical? Oh, no, no. They're embracing it more and more. As a matter of fact, I've got one Beverly Hills ENT that's coming in to, to undergo the procedure right now. Uh, I, Is my, that right? Yeah. And my personal medical doctor, who's now retired, he's, he's you know, uh, just in love in life and he comes in to get the procedure done also just for wellness it's just for overall wellness you know okay so you put the balloon in you open the airway how long could it last like where they breathe well well after they've gone through the treatment protocol oftentimes it's it's a lasting result i've got one patient actually the first patient one of the first patients that I ever treated with this, Franny, Fran Wolf. Hi, Fran. Okay. She, uh, you know, she travels all the way from Arizona, and she would come back and get it. She had it done maybe, I don't know, two or three series of treatment, and she sends me a Christmas card every year telling me how this has just lasted forever. She's never had any problems that, you know, with, with her original breathing disorder, she was also getting, you know, other symptoms with facial pain and sinus conditions. And she just, she's never had to return. And that, that poor woman went through the whole gamut of treatment before she found cranial facial release. And, and for her, it, it was a permanent result. So the person with the deviated septum, even Correct. though I guess it can't be sold that way, probably technically, but this is a person that avoided surgery? Right. Well, I mean, you know, I, I'd I mean, like for that person, though, for that particular they avoided. person, you know, I, I thank you for that question, because I want to make that clear. I mean, we're not really trying to direct this treatment at any one specific disorder or disease. Basically, what we're trying to do is just open up the breathing passageways and optimize brain function. That's it. I mean, and, and what, once that happens, you just get out of the way and let the body do the rest. Now, see, you know, we talked on the phone about this and I yeah. don't know where I've been my whole life, but I've somehow didn't know about these 22 bones. Most people skull, like don't. A, like a puzzle piece, right? Yeah, and they've all, yeah. And the way you described it, I, I guess it, the balloon helps kind of, just like what chiropractic treatment does with the, right. with the discs, right? You're kind of opening a little bit, a little bit of a flex, and people have this euphoric feeling. Is that, uh, is that, is that true? Uh, After uh, Once you've gone through a, a, a series or two of it, yes, that's exactly how you feel. You just feel like you said before, clear as a bell. You just want to feel like this all now, the time. Now, aside from just breathing disorders, with this cranial facial release, it also has other side effects, meaning good side effects. Uh, okay. Like what? Because you even said there's stories that, that you couldn't even tell me because it would sound unbelievable. Uh, I have give me so some, many give, of Give those. me a, an easy one, like some of the... Okay, well, one of my patients, one of my favorite people on the planet, uh, Mr. Sean Enton. Now, Sean... Uh, was on top of the world. I mean, he had taken, he was a self-made millionaire, taken two companies public by the age of 40, living on the cliff, overlooking the ocean in San Diego. But Sean liked to do MMA wrestling as kind of an exercise protocol. And he got choked out and he, he developed a stroke. And I mean, Sean's stroke was so severe that they never thought he was gonna be able to walk or talk again. I mean, it, it was so bad that they actually had to surgically remove part of his skull and insert it into his abdomen to keep it alive to allow the swelling of the brain to reduce before they could surgically reimplant it in his brain. Now Sean uh, had a struggle with his recovery until he came in and started getting cranial facial release performed. And his, what did he say? Well now he says a lot, but I mean Sean uh, advanced at such a rapid rate. Now he's able to walk better, talk better, move better, think better to the point where he's even start. He's co-founded a new company now. I have another patient who suffers from trigeminal neuralgia, which is a debilitating disorder. Uh, people what is have it? it's 
facial pain. Okay. okay. Uh, you know, there's very little that can be done with this type of disorder medically. I mean, these people are mostly just dependent, they're drug dependent, you know, basically to, just to sedate, sedate them or to reduce the symptoms of the facial pain. And so there's very many, very few options out there for them. Now this patient came to me, she had tried everything in the world and we went in and started ballooning her. And so after she went through several series of the CFR treatment, her pain is basically down to nothing and it gave her her life back. She's so excited. You want to talk about people telling other people? <laughs> She's my biggest proponent. She goes and she tells the world about this treatment. So you brought a video. I guess it shows the procedure animated. What are we looking at? Uh, it's, it's basically a video that demonstrates how the procedure works, where the balloon goes into, how we insert the balloon. It, it's, it's very well done. It's a very well done video and it, it basically just shows everything from A to Z of what to expect if you come in for this technique. So do healthy people come in all the time? No. They're just for prevention? No, they don't. But those are the type of people that I would love to see. Those are the people that need it. Okay. You know, it's all about staying well. You know, society thinks so backwards, they wait till they get sick and then they try to get better. This is all about the preservation of health, optimizing brain function, optimizing okay. body function. Okay, good. That's good. what it's about. Let's go to the video and take a look at this. Okay. Chiropractor Dr. Adam Del Torto specializes in cranial adjustment to help patients with sinus problems, headaches, and allergies. The skull is made up of 22 individual bones. What most people don't realize is necessary for them to move to allow for the expansion and relaxation of the skull during respiration. Dr. Adam pioneered a therapy he calls cranial facial relief. This technique incorporates the use of tiny balloons that are carefully inserted in the nose and quickly inflated to open up the breathing passageways and mobilize the bones of the face and cranium. All right, so that it's, uh, so how do you do it? Like so a patient goes in, take me through that process. Well, it's, it's not as bizarre as it sounds. I mean, basically the patient comes in, we lay them down on the table. You know, the difficult part, if there is a difficult part, is actually inserting the balloon into the nasopharynx, into the, the six different openings. There's three on each side, a lower, middle, and upper. So we decide which is the most appropriate opening to insert. We put the balloon in, and then we just tell the patient to get in the zone. Just, just get into that comfortable place where, <laughs> where you, you know, you, you feel in, you're feeling the love. And then what they do is they just take a deep breath. We, we inflate the balloon. It takes about two seconds. It releases the cranial sutures. We deflate the balloon and the procedure's over. Two seconds, piece of cake. What do you mean it releases the cranial sutures? Yeah, okay. The cranial sutures, a suture, that's another name for the cranial joints, is the cranial sutures. Wherever the fixations are. On the skull? Yes. So we're talking about the skull. Yeah, there's 22 bones, 64 articulations. So we're targeting all of those cranial joints, those cranial articulations that somehow throughout the course of life may have become fixated. Okay, okay. So when that's freed up, that's why they get that feeling of? Of almost euphoria. Uh, it's, it's, you just really feel just like you just want to feel like this all the time. That's mm -hmm. the best way I can describe it. So people sleep better, they feel sleep better. Sleep better, dream better. I had one guy come in to me, he, his, his big uh, complaint, his primary treatment goal was that he didn't dream. Like, who doesn't dream? You know, and I'm like, okay. He goes, well, will this help that? I, 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 like, I don't know. All this does is optimize brain function, so let's give it a try. Oh, my God, he came back the next day, and he was like, turn it off, make it stop. He was, he was dreaming like wild dreams. I guess he had all these pent up dreams that just hadn't been released in years. And he came and he's like, doc, this is crazy. He goes, I, I, I dream the craziest dreams I've ever had in my life. <laughs> you know, considering you didn't have any dreams before. You know, but there's yeah. a big movement, especially I'm, you know, I'm looking on the internet things about how important it is to breathe through your nose. Yeah. And so this is just, just well, helps that. Well, that's because we're, that's where the ion intake comes into your body for energy flow. If you follow uh, acupuncture and energy flow and meridian therapy, I mean, you know, if, if it's all about energy flow. Life is energy. If you look up the definition of life in the dictionary, it's defined as organized, intelligent energy. And that's where you get the, the ion balance in your body is through your nasal passageways. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. We come back. I'd like to know the frequently asked questions when they come in to your office. Okay. You're watching the Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back.
My husband Keith has been an avid snorer for years. Really, really loud, impossible to sleep next to snoring. Um, we have tried everything on the planet. Nasal strips, hypnosis, nothing has worked until we finally got introduced to Dr. Adam who did the technique, the CFR, can't ever remember uh, how to pronounce that, but it's amazing. It's completely changed his life, it's completely saved our marriage basically. Um, he went from really, really snoring loud all the time to not snoring hardly at all. It's just very light breathing, in fact. I'm like, are you still alive? But really, honestly, I'm so thankful. Thank you, Dr. Adam. I feel like you've saved our marriage. It's like you're a marriage counselor. <laughs> it's amazing. you got to go check it out. I feel amazing. It's because of you that CFR is what, is what got me here this far right now. I, I'm speaking better. My endurance is better. And I'm, and I'm walking better. And I built a company called Be uh, Beach Organics because of you. I plateaued at a certain time in my life, post my stroke. You know, I stroked in 2012. They counted me. They, they told me I wouldn't walk or talk for five years. And the MDs didn't, 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 uh, they didn't know what to do with me anymore. And because of you, because of what we're doing with the CFR, it's the reason why I'm sitting here in front of you and want to tell the world about this. Because I think every stroke survivor, anybody with a TBI, should be having a treatment immediately. Oh, it's better than oh. any medication, any treatment I've been through. I've traveled the world. I've met chiropractors, I've met MDs, and because of you, Dr. Adam, is the reason why I'm going to get emotional. It's because I'm sitting here doing, building a new company. Because it's my brain's actually waking up. You're causing my brain to wake up and fire at certain points that it hasn't fired in five years. And yes, before this, I was a very successful businessman. I lived on the ocean, on the beach, a beautiful house, married at that time with two gorgeous kids. And my brain's waking up now to build a new company. You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, uh, breathing disorders. What you need to know with this uh, fairly new technique has become mainstream uh, uh, amongst medical doctors and doctors of chiropractic. Uh, with us, we have uh, a, an expert on the topic, lectures internationally, Dr. Del Torto. Uh, Dr. Del Torto, Thank welcome you. back. Thank you. Dr. Adam, I guess that's what your patients call you. So, uh, so, so when they come in, right, somebody has a breathing disorder, they come in, what are the frequently asked questions? Well, first of all, they wanna know, does it hurt? Which it absolutely does not hurt. It's, okay. it's, it's a lot of pressure, but it's a very so quick procedure. So it's uncomfortable procedure. though? It's uncomfortable, it's, it's pressure. You know, it, it, and pressure is uncomfortable, especially when it's in your face. But it's two seconds. Two seconds, it's quick, it's I can done. tolerate and that. Anyone can tolerate it. I mean, I treat all ages from, from infants to children, to kids, to adults, to old people. I mean, across, the, the age limit is, is across the board. So when they come in, they wanna know, okay, does it hurt? What's, a, what's another question? Does it work, obviously? Yeah, it does, is it going to work? You know, what am I going to feel like afterwards? So, again, we do it in a, a series of four days of treatment specifically because usually after the first day or two of it, you know, you actually feel a little more congested. You may feel a little headachey. But then after day three and four and five, oh, my God, they just have just the opposite experience. They feel clear and open and they can breathe and they just they just they, i hear it all the time doc i just want to feel like this all the time so it's a simple insert the balloon in the nose inflate quickly it, inflate open it. it up yeah several treatments takes about two seconds as far as putting it in there that's it and they and, and they feel better you know it, i've been doing this show for 18 years right and a lot of the things 18 years ago a lot of the doctors were talking about things that today are mainstream but they were it was considered quackery right just like, yes. you know, 40 years ago, people didn't believe in chiropractic. Now the Olympic team uses it. Everybody, you know, it's mainstream. Mm -hmm. is, it, is, is that the way this is? Where this is, will become mainstream? Is that your hunch? Absolutely, yes. Most doctors get into this for the right reason. They want to help patients. And once you get this procedure done, you breathe better, you sleep better, you perform better. Everything in your life is elevated to the next level. When you breathe better. Yes, and if, so of sense. course, I do think that this will eventually become mainstream chiropractic, maybe even mainstream medical. But right now, it's at, it's at its infantile stages. It kind of got lost in the shuffle over the years. Well, ENTs, look, I've had ENTs on my show, medical doctors, yeah. that are putting balloons in there, but at a different level. And for a different... And cleaning it out at the same time. For a different reason, but yeah. But that mechanism, because off camera, they've said it works, expanding that area. 
work. So this is right, the same right. kind of thing. And I think they actually do a modified version of sinuplasty where they do go into the nasopharynx and, and inflate the balloon. But I don't know if they do it with, with the same targeted results, if they're actually targeting the same symptoms that people to come for, to, that come to me for. But um, it's just, it's life changing. Now you are a wor world leader on this and I'm not trying to well, know, thank side you. with you. Does it cost more <laughs> to build a down like that. you? Because I saw the prices are inexpensive. Absolutely not. I mean, we basically, we're not trying to price it out of the market. It's we, inexpensive. Yeah, we want people to, to take advantage of this specialized procedure. We don't want to make it, uh, like price it out of their price range. Let me so, see it again. Can I see that again? So that's the device. This is the device, and you just, quickly inflated. That's it. That's it. So to answer your question, no, I'm not more expensive than the other doctors that I've treated, that I've trained to do this. Uh, you know, we're basically, it's, it costs a little more than the average chiropractic adjustment, but you know, it's, it's, there's a lot more involved. We spend a lot more time. We do pre and post inflation treatment on top of just doing the balloon. So it's, it's a whole treatment protocol. Now, are there people that you've met that are on these anti-inflammatory medications? I don't know what those are, but you know, they're taking medications for Absolutely. their breathing that they've weaned off. Well, I mean, has that happened? Ab absolutely, absolutely. Especially when it comes to nasal sprays, because a lot of those are addictive, and people, you know, they, they depend on those almost to wake up in the morning. And I've absolutely had a number of patients. Matter of fact, the majority of patients that come in for breathing disorders, if that's their primary treatment goal, those are the people that, yeah, we get off the medication, we get off of the nasal sprays. So, what's like your best patient? My reversal best, of my, problems. My best CFR story? Yeah. This one, I, I love to tell this story because it's, it's almost, you know, borderline not believable. But I, I had a patient come in uh, in Catalina. Her mother brought her in. She was depressed. She would spend, she was like a recluse. She would spend 24-7 in her room. They almost had to slide food underneath the door for her. She was um, on heavy medication and she just would never come out of her room. And uh, the, her mother came to me and she said, Doc, you know, you got this new procedure. Do you think it would help my daughter? And I, I was like, I don't know. You know, I don't know, but we could try. So they brought her in. She was all wrapped up in blankets. I just, I didn't even know if there was a person under there. So we went in and, and we started doing the balloons on her. The first day, the legs are kicking and, you know, I was, oh, well, there is someone underneath here. So I think I ballooned her a total of about five times and then I didn't see her anymore. And I'm thinking, you know, what happened to Cynthia? So she came back two weeks later, just dressed to the nines. I mean, she was stunning stunningly beautiful and uh, she just blossomed into this whole new so what'd person. what she say? I mean, did she say it worked? She said, that's right, doc, I'm back. We're out of time. Final message, somebody watching this, they have breathing problems, they're using that spray all the time. Uh, and they hear this and they're skeptical. What do you say? I would like to invite them in to come and talk to me and, and we'll be able to determine whether or not this technique is for them. And I'd like to speak to their medical doctors. Ask your medical doctors about it. You know, see Good. if it's something that, uh, that resonates with them or resonates with you. And you know, and the majority of the time it works and I'll be able to tell by meeting you in person. All right, only thanks for coming to the show. Good I stuff. Appreciate, very, I appreciate very interesting, you having me, actually. thank you. You're watching, you're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez for now. I wish you could help. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.